does it need to fix up a lot of these older properties need renovation so can we get a bridge loan to finance portion of the purchase price and the renovation and the answer is yes but it's not as fruitful as the fix and flip bridge financing out there welcome to the investor financing podcast where we interview real estate investors and lenders so you can learn all the secrets to getting your projects funded and scale your portfolio and now your host Bo Eckstein. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Investor Financing Podcast. And I'm your host, Bo Eckstein. And on today's show, we're going to talk about lending for mixed-use properties. What options are available for mixed-use properties? They are a lot more challenging to finance, as you may be aware, but they oftentimes have great cash flow. So what are some options that we can provide for financing? So let's dive in. If it's going to be an owner occupied property actually fha has a product or their fha loan can actually finance on an owner occupied property they have certain caveats very few fha lenders are good at financing these you really gotta gotta search and seek these residential type of lenders out there that understand fha and mixed use properties together but it can be done i'm not an expert on the ratios of residential versus commercial space so what is a mixed use property? A mixed use property could be upstairs, two or three residential units, downstairs office or retail. You, sometimes you'll see a single family home with a car lot on the back of the lot. Just a lot of different mixed use type of properties. I just saw one which was a duplex with a marina or 50 boat slips. So there's large selection of mixed use properties. And really each of these has different caveats. Most of these kind of uh, national lenders they want to see that the residential occupancy level is over 61 percent of the total combined space so when sizing these up as a buyer to purchase these properties really is what's the unit mix what's the total square footage how much of that square footage is residential if any sometimes it could be a mixed use property with different uses but most of the ones you see are residential component to it so What's the uh, square footage of residential versus commercial? And, and then uh, what's the rent, the residential rent percentage versus the commercial rent percentage? That's kind of where we're going to start. What's the purchase price, obviously? The reality of today's economy is hitting home with employers. Employee turnover is now running at over 100% and costing over $2,000 to hire, train, and replace workers, let alone sky-high signing bonuses. But even within this new workplace dynamic, one of the core underlying realities that many American workers have is financial insecurity. 78% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. 65% of employees feel that personal financial worries impact their health. 44% have less than $400 saved for unexpected expenses. What if one product could help solve both the immediate labor and hiring issues and also address some of those longer-term worker insecurities and realities without adding $1 to your bottom line? Introducing the digital account with no monthly account fees, no credit checks, no minimum balances, and no overdraft fees. The account comes with a Visa debit card, global ATM network, bill pay, send money, and features pay any day. Pay any day, a proven way to reduce employee turnover by as much as 40%. With pay any day, employees can access up to 50% of their pay before payday. Pay any day is not a loan, it's an advance. And with a digital account, your employees can get their money when they need it. Your employees' satisfaction Financial wellness is critical to reducing turnover. Make their life easier and they will stay longer. Contact Expense Savvy today to learn about this amazing employee retention tool. Please visit expensesavvy.com slash account. And then the other caveat is if you're actually moving your business into this property to run this business, will you occupy 51% of 
the space because then it could be potentially an SBA loan, a 504 or an SBA 7A loan. So that's a whole different segment if you're going to be owner user as a business. And then there's the owner occupied for maybe an FHA loan. And then there's just a straight investor type of purchase where you're buying this for investment purposes. And that's where we got to figure out what would make the most sense. Would it be a local bank, credit union? Does it need to fix up? A lot of these older properties need renovation. So can we get a bridge loan to finance portion of the purchase price and the renovation? And the answer is yes, but it's not as fruitful as the fix and flip bridge financing out there where they'll lend 90% of purchase, 100% of repair costs because mixed use is really specialty. So if you have any questions on mixed use properties, feel free to book a call below. I'll be happy to help you size it up and see what we can do. Anyways, please like, subscribe, and share this show with others. And I look forward to seeing you on the next Investor Financing Podcast. Make it a great day.